Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Dev. This tutorial is actually a continuation of the previous tutorial or the previous video. Um, we are actually learning about um, array of pointers. Um, if you haven't watched the previous tutorial, please do so. The link of the tutorial must be on the screen right now. Um, so let's uh, get started. So we were actually trying to write a small program here to demonstrate the use of uh, array of pointers and I am what I'm uh, trying to do here is actually creating multiple uh, strings name one name two name three you know name four equals uh, I don't know uh, Mike okay and now I declare and and suppose I want to uh, sort them together okay yeah I want to to sort them out okay I want to give them an order you know f from the first first using the first character right so uh, which one which one should come first I J K L M F F F Frank should be first then Joe and then Katie and then Mike okay Frank Joe Katie Mike okay these are these are the f uh, f four uh, this should be the order okay so how are we going to order it <coughs> let's create an a pointer uh, an array of pointers okay and each one would be a character type so character pointer <coughs> character pointer p names okay this has names and how many of those four because we want to store four names right and you could actually just like any characters you should be able to to do that uh, just like any arrays you know initialization of any array you could do something like this this will store zero in each and every element of this thing which is basically the same as null storing null okay so it will make these pointers initial it will initialize these pointers to null so that they don't don't point to any anywhere okay and then what I do is I say P now you know there is a very there are algorithms to basically do this we could start by in the same order and we have algorithms algorithms are basically a step-by-step -step process that will achieve something that you want to do so there is there are algorithms that will that can do sorting for you okay they will sort this for you they are you know they are I don't want to say complex but they are beyond the scope of this tutorial because we are trying to learn about the array of pointers here so we are not going to do that so we are manually we are going to assign those values okay so the first element the first pointer is p name of zero and that should be pointing to name two if I make it point to name two then Frank would be the same as p name of zero okay and then the second should be the uh which one would come for fghij j f g h i j joe okay so name one and then p name two is equal to um katie so that would be name three right and p name four is equal to name four right so see even though these names were in different order okay and they were totally independent of each other we made them use we using the pointer we sorted sorted them out so this is what's what what it looks like actually if we try to draw this uh, it's from the previous tutorial okay clean it up now this is what happened when this program in this program we have first we have created an array of characters or a string and we have stored Joe in it so this is how it's going to look like okay we have an array of characters okay its name is name one okay and it has four elements and this is what they look like and in the first element we will store J in the second element we will store O E and then the end of a string 
which is 0, null character. Null character is also end of string. Okay, so we store 0 here. And j, we store j. What do we, what do we mean when we say we store j? We actually store s key of j, a code corresponding to j. Okay, because the only thing we can store is actually numbers. So the numeric code corresponding to j, that's what's stored here. Similarly, we have Frank in name 2. Right? F R A N K and the null character. Right? So name 2 must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 elements long. The same thing with KD. K A T Y zero. So that's name three. Right? And then we have Mike. M I K E and then zero. And this is name four. Right? And then we said that okay, let's allocate um an array of pointers and it, it will have four elements and each element will be an array itself so how would we represent that something like this okay four pointers okay this is an array of pointers and this is the name of that array p name right and then we said p name of zero is equal to name two what does that mean? What is name 2? Name 2 is actually the address of this string. Frank. Okay? It's the same thing. The name of an array is an address. So name 2 is the address and we are storing that address into this pointer p name of 1. Okay? Into this element of this array of pointers. So what did what do we do? This is like p name of 0, this is p name of 1, this is p name of 2 and this is p name of 3. So in p name of 0 we are storing the pointer address of name 2 that will make this p name of 0 point here okay and then in name 1 the address of name 1 we are storing it in here okay so name 1 on 1 that will make it point here and then name 3 to name 2 like this and then name 4 to sorry I had wrote 3 here we need to write right here so as soon as we assign this name 4 to the third element it will start pointing right here so now these are if you access one by one this array they will be in in sorted order so let me real quick uh, write that loop for integer i for i is equal to 0 i is less than 4 i plus plus okay and then if we try to print print f percent s strings right percent s backslash n for next ca next line and then we say p name of i okay so we print out all those strings using this array we should see those in order so let me run this program real quick okay it's saying p name not declared or oh, its names okay so let's see printf percent name p names again another array error there we go look at this we have frank joe Katie, Mike, in the same order, in the real order, not in the, these are sorted. This is, this is not sorted. So this concludes the tutorial on array of pointers. Thank you so much.